This video is going to go through section 9.4, which was all about multiplying and dividing rational expressions, looking at how we can factor to help us simplify. Uh, I put one that actually is not a factoring, where everything's already made up of factors, uh, where you don't have uh, polynomials that need to be factored. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to be doing a lot of factoring, a lot of canceling, and looking at what is left. So that's what we're going to go through here on 9.4. First one starts with more of the basic, and actually it's more of a review of what we would have done earlier in the course with a lot of just exponent rules. Um, some things to think about is you can simplify from the start. You don't have to just multiply straight across. What I mean by that is when I see a 21 and a 35, 21 on top, 35 on the bottom, I know they're both divisible by 7. So 7 goes into 21 three times, 7 goes into 35 five times. If you don't do that from the beginning, then you can definitely do that at the end. In either way, you should get the same answer. Now when I walk, multiply across, I'm going to add my exponent. So I have x to the 13th, y to the 5th. I still have a 3, so I'm going to put it there before I forget. In the denominator, I have a 5 times 5, so that's 25. And then I have x squared, y to the 4th. And now I want to think about my exponent rules again. Whenever I'm dividing bases, I subtract exponents. So my final answer is 3x to the 11th, y over 25. You could also write it as 3 25ths x to the 11 y. Either one would be correct notation. For the second one, now is when you have to resist the temptation to just start canceling away. We can only cancel things that are factors, and currently nothing is written as a factor. A factor means that we are looking to see if we can take something out, if we can do a FOIL factor, if we can do grouping, perfect squares, perfect cubes. So we want to go through one piece at a time. I'm going to look at the first numerator, and what I notice is I could take out an x, which leaves me with x minus 2. On the bottom, I can FOIL factor it. It's x plus x plus, and the only way to get it is 1 and 1. Next fraction, also a FOIL factor. It's also x plus and x plus. This is going to be 1 and 3. And on the bottom is a takeout method. Take out the x, and we're left with x plus 3. Once you have completely factored everything, now you can start going through and see what factors on the top will cancel with their like factors on the, any denominator. So I notice that I have an x plus 1 here and an x plus 1 here. Notice that this x plus 1 doesn't have anything to cancel with, so don't accidentally cancel that as you go. I have an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. Those would cancel. I have an x here and an x here. That will cancel. I'm going to write down whatever is left, and that is my simplified answer. I have an x minus 2 on top and an x plus 1 on the bottom. The next one, we have a division problem. When you have division, you want to think about how that means you multiply by the reciprocal. So immediately, I'm going to put a multiplication sign and flip this fraction. First piece, I'm going to go ahead and factor that. That is a FOIL factor. It is plus and a minus. It is a plus 12 and a minus 2. I'm just going to kind of bring that down here. Notice it doesn't have a denominator, so if you want to put it all over 1, you can, but you don't have to. This one, you can take out a 3 from the numerator. You're left with x minus 12. Denominator is difference of perfect squares. You get x plus 12, x minus 12. I'm going to cancel this x minus 12 with this x minus 12. I'm going to cancel this x plus 12 with this x plus 12. And I am left with 3 times x minus 2. You can leave it like that, or you could distribute the 3 through to give you 3x minus 6. Next one is also a division problem, so immediately I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. You always will be flipping the fraction that immediately follows the division sign. And you also notice there's nothing to factor in that piece, so I'm going to go over to the first fraction. I can do a takeout. I can take out a 7x, leaving me with x minus 3. The bottom is a FOIL factor. I have x and x plus and minus, and it is 7 and 5 plus 5 minus 7. This x minus 7 will cancel with this x minus 7. Uh, we have an x over an x squared, so this x will cancel with one of these x's, so I'm just going to kind of cross off that power. On the top, I'm left with a 7 and an x minus 3. On the bottom, I'm left with an x and an x plus 5. You can leave it like that, or you can distribute it through and say 7x minus 21 over x squared plus 5x. The factor form is fine, though, because a lot of times the factor form is a little more helpful when we are doing problems like this and trying to solve something or look where something equals 0. And then to finish the video, I want to go through one of the combination problems that we finished with in class, the idea that you can do a lot of multiplication and division all at once. You still follow the same idea of factoring as much as you can and then canceling. You will still be flipping any um, fraction that you are dividing by, so I am going to multiply by the reciprocal of this one.
now it turns into a, just a big multiplication problem. Uh, the first one I'm going to factor, we've got a 30. It's going to be a plus minus. This is going to be plus 10 minus 3. I'm going to comb over here. Can't do anything with the x plus 2. And this is x plus 2, x plus 1. My x plus 2's will cancel. Mm, I need to factor. I've got more factoring to do here that I haven't done yet. I need to factor this with a FOIL factor. I get x plus 8, x minus 3. I now over here, see what I have left after I did a little bit of canceling. And again, if it helps to see this over 1, you can. You don't have to. I have an x minus 3 and an x minus 3. And that's it. So what my I'm left with is an x plus 10 on top times an x plus 2, and x plus 8 times x plus 1. You can leave it like that. If you choose to FOIL it all out, your answer would be x squared plus 12x plus 20 on top, and x squared plus 9x plus 8 on the bottom. Both are equivalent answers. Again, the habit that we want to break is don't try to just cancel. Sometimes people do all this great work and then say, oh, there's an x squared over an x squared. I'm going to cancel those. Those are not factors. As soon as we follow it with a plus sign or with a minus sign, those are things that are being added. Those are things being subtracted. Factor means things that are being multiplied. So we can only cancel if it is in that form, is it in that factored form. So that's everything that we did in 9.4 from the basic ones, which are just exponent rules, to the multiplication, the division, and then finishing with ones that are multiplication and division. The the idea is if you are very good at factoring, if you're comfortable with that, these problems should be very quick because your bottom line is what didn't cancel after you factor.